not met him in person but they have met him all the same his messages and sermons are repreached on several platforms every Sunday the way I describe him I say he is one on whom rests the spirit of revelation like I have never seen in my time. And all this grace he carries with such a humble man. For the first time in House on the Rock, Portaka. Please, is the president of Eternity Network International with a Guardian City Oil City applause please receive the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selva Just a moment, thank you very much. So, so flattered by your love. God bless you. God bless you, sir. I know that tonight our lives will never be the same. I was so humbled when I came in and I saw three people outside your overflows. Praise the Lord. Now, just two things. We're going to sit down. Please, whether you're an usher or not, just help anyone under the anointing close to you while we teach. Praise of God is in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ. We'll be here only for a few minutes tonight so that we can honor the time. But I want your heart to be open. Pastor, thank you. You have an amazing worship team. My God, my God. These people, hallelujah. Amen. Do you love prayer? Can we pray? Please lift your voice in one minute. Just pray in the spirit. Cry for the spirit of revelation. Help those under the anointing Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe with all my heart that this conference will answer its name in our lives. It's a conference that seeks to ignite and seeks to activate dimensions that for some has been dormant for a long time and for others it is a virgin dimension that has never been treaded but in any case 
I like for your heart to be open. Like Pastor said, just giving the charge. You can come and spectate and be happy and feel good and go back. But then you can come with a hunger in your heart and take something of substance back. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. When the Lord puts meetings like this, it is because he seeks to shift us to levels and then dimensions in the spirit. Micah chapter 4, the prophet began to speak about the character of the end time church. When you read from verse 1, Micah chapter 4 from verse 1, he says, In the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord's house, he said, shall be established in the top of the mountains. It shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow. You don't flow to a mountain. A mountain is upwards, but the pressure it will command that people will flow. They will defy the limitations. Next verse. This is why they will flow. And many nations shall come and say, let us go up to house on the rock, Potakot, the mountain of the Lord. It says, and to the God of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways. He will teach us his ways. Conferences like these are feasts of light. When God by his spirit opens us up, and quickens our understanding remember authority in this kingdom is predicated upon your understanding understanding is such a miracle that the bible says then open he their understanding that they might understand scripture so i pray in the name of jesus that you will lend your destiny your attention for the next few minutes i believe pastor that there will be manifold activations in this place in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated again it's my honor to be here and I glorify the Lord for the privilege in the name of Jesus Christ we're dealing with the subject of the supernatural and um, I think that this has been a subject that has um, not been properly understood in the body of Christ generally we love the idea of the supernatural. We love the feeling of anything that exerts dominance above the three-dimensional realm. But then it looks like there are a lot of gaps in our spiritual understanding as to the dynamics of the supernatural and the spirit realm. Almost everyone will agree that there is a reality beyond the realm of science. There is a reality beyond... Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9. That grace is not limited to your intellectual deficiency, if any. It's a grace that can walk through whatever limitation and cause you to see. Paul was speaking and he said, Ephesians 3 and verse 9, that a grace was given to him, being the least of the apostles, and that that grace can make all men see all men see so expect to understand there is nothing complicated when the spirit of god is at work because he will open your eyes to see are we together man glory be to jesus genesis chapter one let's start from there Wherever we stop tonight, the Lord will help us. We'll continue tomorrow. Pay whatever price it will take to be here tomorrow. Make the sacrifice. And let's trust God to really, really feast and be lifted. In the name of Jesus Christ.
the name of Jesus Christ I'm hearing a loud shout in the spirit and I'm seeing a number four and the power of God is coming on four people right now in this place there is a loud shout that I'm hearing You called it an activation conference. That your life will never be the same. The Lord is quickening your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit. So that these things are no longer strange. Strange. Can, can I just do my thing here? Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to go to the word shortly, but I just saw it. I saw that number four number four number four number four is a quickening of the spirit i'm seeing the wind blowing there is a grace for intercession that is resting on people in this place right now from the front to the back is a strange wind may that grace come upon you now a quickening i'm seeing people there's there's just a wind and i'm seeing fire resting on people it's an ignition even at the overflow outside, I'm seeing at the overflow. Shalantas kabaratosia, shatabradege de balakato sabrande kabaru sasi de balata. You will never be the same. Immersed in His glory, prakato zadela sabanda shalako sada has kabadiada. Shabradege baru dasiata. House on the rock portakot. A visitation comes to you tonight. You will never be the same. we'll get to the word shortly the grace for intercession 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 i'm hearing in my spirit i'm restoring i'm restoring i'm restoring this is what god is saying you have lost time you have lost things i come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood help them please restoring families receiving restorations in the name of Jesus please help that woman just bask in that glory for a minute or two the Lord is bringing you restoration by the spirit of the living God I don't know who this man is my friend look at me lift your hands i see an anointing coming upon you the lord is restoring everything you've lost take that grace now in the name of jesus christ restoring everything that was lost restoring everything that was lost there's a lady in the choir the lord is bringing your family this year will not end before you see this restoration there is an anointing that is coming on you this is what the spirit of the lord is saying Who is Abel? I'm hearing a name Abel. I'm hearing a name Abel. We'll be seated shortly. But I just sense that your hunger is touching the heart of the Father. I'm hearing the name Abel. And the Lord is ministering to me that He's bringing restoration to the family of Abel. Abel, what's your name? Abel wow interesting come do we have another mic what's your name Abel is your name or your surname I will pray with you so we're not distracted huh you're, you're, you're a member of this church you came from somewhere in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over your life now over forever in the name of Jesus my dear lift your hands I release a grace upon you and I shift you to a new dimension in the spirit in the name of Jesus you will never be small in the name of Jesus please don't come out at random let's not make this rowdy your name is Abel what do you do please give him ah huh? I'm seeing you in a restaurant what do you do 
Yes, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you in a restaurant. I'm a waiter at the restaurant, sir. In a restaurant. Yes, sir. Where? Go to the Potakot Hotel. Is there somewhere like that? I'd like you to shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That grace comes upon you. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Soon you will leave that place and the Lord is lifting you to a higher dimension. You will never forget this conference for the rest of your life. When he comes, you will know he's here. What do you do, sir? This man. You. Yes. Real estate. Because I am seeing there is a breakthrough. December. This December. I don't know you from anywhere. And I fear God. You've been trying to do something that has not worked. Is that true? You have tried. You've been disappointed. This is three times. One, two, three. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. But here at this conference, I bring you the rod of a higher priesthood. That in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. And by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I shift you into that possibility. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Please, wherever you are in one minute open your mouth and make demand of something that must come upon your life in this conference Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Sing it again and listen to what you are saying. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? You're the name above every other name. What can you do? What can you change? What can you change? What can you change? One, two, three, four years. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that? Four years. Four years. Come. It's time for you to receive. What can you do, Jesus? You are able. Great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. Pastor, thank you for putting this program. Thank you. In your obedience is the lifting of someone. In your obedience is the answer to prayer. It doesn't take God alone. It takes God and yielded men. Pastor, again, thank you. Am I wasting your time? Bring the lady that shouts under the anointing now to the hearing of everyone. I want to speak to her. Allah subranda skedaba shalita. The power of God is coming on one of you and I'm seeing what looks like a chain breaking because Jesus is in the midst of his people. I tell you the grace of God is mighty and strong in this place. Please just coordinate them. Just walk with the ushers. 
in the name of Jesus Christ listen to me there is a name that is above every other name bring her the Lord says concerning your family remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold I do a new thing behold I do a new thing let the voice of lamentation come to end in your family in the name of Jesus the Christ of God did the Bible not say when you come on to Mount Zion there are in an innumerable company of angels it says therein is also the spirits of just men made perfect Jesus himself the first begotten I want to pray for those trusting madam I'm seeing an angel removing something from you this woman on black in the name of Jesus right here at house on the rock be free we bring you the liberty of the spirit what can't you do Jesus you are a now in the name of Jesus for those of you who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb I stand in faith with your pastor and I prophesy to you in the name that is above all names according to the time of life return with miracles believe it I'm not motivating you listen listen it is seen it is seen to make bold proclamations that you do not have the grace to support it the Bible says that everyone should minister according to the measure of grace in the name that is above all names again by Jesus the head of the church we decree and declare in the name that is above all names barrenness of all sorts be gone now and forever be gone now and forever in the name of Jesus Please return to your seats rejoicing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated. Let's see that we can do something tonight. Goodness. You see, there's something about hunger. When the hunger of a man touches the heart of his maker, he's compelled to respond some of you have prayed some of you have fasted some of you have been here for hours you have stretched your appetite from border to border and now he has come to satisfy that long hallelujah Genesis chapter 1 let's go to the book of the beginnings as we explore the realm of the spirit as we explore the supernatural what you're hearing tonight are not theological dissertations these are truths based on the integrity of God's Word based on the wisdom that has come from the life of those who have found these keys and I pray that God will open our eyes the Bible says Genesis 1 and verse 1 in the beginning God created don't worry about what he created just focus in the beginning God created doesn't matter whether it was the heaven or the earth whether it was man the idea is that in the beginning God created in the beginning God created it happens to be that what he created was the heavens and the earth 
that means he was not living in any of those realms you can't create what you are inside listen carefully please in the beginning God created the heavens then he created the earth two dimensions and then the Bible says verse 2 many things happened and as a result the earth was dark void formless and then the spirit of God hovered around the earth we never got to see what happened the first time but now we're having an opportunity to see a recreation and then chapter 1 and verse 3 the Bible says and Elohim said light now study the progression in the beginning he created we don't have the opportunity to see the raw materials and the dynamics the Bible just summarizes it so it's difficult to reproduce that result because the dynamics were not known we just know he created the heavens and the earth are we together now he breaks it down in verse 3 that for your information this is how creation starts light be light be and he said and he saw because there was light not because he spoke and he said please follow me i don't know how pray for me while you are seated there because we have to this 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 thing is is something that we have to really really dive into seriously light be and then when light came he began to speak and he saw everything he said because he said it in the presence of light that means it is not the speaking it is the light the illumination that strengthens and activates that speech this already is a serious deliverance for someone who just believes that all there is to creation and activating possibilities is just to talk uh -uh. you talk in the presence of light When there was light, then he could speak and see what he said. If there is no light, you can speak, but you will never see. Light be. That light was not sunlight. Sunlight was created on day four. That light is what the Bible calls the life of man. It was Apostle John who understood that mystery. Now We're dealing with, with spiritual dynamics here so he said light be and there was and then he began to create a lot of other things he gave us that opportunity to see that light is a principal factor as far as activating possibilities are concerned but this is not even where i'm going to the bible lets us know immediately from genesis 1 that this world and the reality that we find ourselves in is dimensional. The Bible did not just say God created space. Uh -uh. It says he created a dimension and named it the heavens. So even if you consider the heavens, they are dimensional. It's not just heaven. The heavens. Many planes of spiritual reality. And then the Bible says he now made the earth. He didn't say earth. Earth. There is one earth. So every time we talk about earth, we all know we are talking about the same thing. But when we talk about heaven, you must define what dimension. Are we still together now? And then the Bible lets us know that God began to do several things. And one of it was to make the stars, the sun, and he said that those stars should signify seasons upon the earth. Are we together now? The book of the beginnings. So we understand that this earth that we live in and our interactions as human beings is dimensional. We now get to verse 26 when man is about to be created or recreated if you believe. Because Adam was not the first man. You know that by now. Of course not. Adam was the first man created in the image 
and the likeness of God. But before his arrival, there were other humanoid species. The Bible leaves it as a testament. It's not hidden. Science also proves it. It is in this one fact that both the Bible and science agree. Adam was created in the image and the likeness of God. Are we together? Now, the making of man already gives us a revelation of how we should function. Because the Bible says it this way. And Elohim, the plural, singular, is Eloha. And Elohim said, let us make a species called man. And let us construct this man in such a manner that he will have our image and likeness. Our image, our spiritual form, the character intrinsically that makes God, God. That's what Satan wanted, the image. And then likeness means let him look like us and function like us. Are we together now? Then the Bible says that God made man in his image. And then he was told to have dominion. Now watch this. God created man a spirit. In fact, a holy spirit. The spirit of God is not the only holy spirit. You are a holy spirit. He's only the most holy spirit. Except you don't believe in salvation. Just don't, don't, just, are we, are we together? Are you in agreement with me? So, he created man a spirit. And now there was a problem. This is where we are going to. Please listen. When he created that spirit, if he left that spirit that way, he will violate one of the fundamental laws in the realm of the spirit. It's called the law of territory. That means you remain an illegal occupant in any territory till you are built with the raw materials of that territory. Walk with me, please. He was created in the image of God, meaning he did not qualify to live on earth. He only qualified to live where God is based on the law of territory because he was made of God's material spirit light are we together now but now God wanted that man to rule on earth that means he must be made of the substance to be compatible with his ecosystem are you are we together now so leaving man to roam around was not profiting God neither was it helping to advance his cause because man needed a body is a law so god made adam from the dust now when the bible says the dust it does not mean it's his only sand that was used to make man it's a generic statement all the elements within the ecosystem of man are in man oh wow hold on it was not just sand water was involved this is why there is a similitude between what is in man. 70% of man is water. Just like 70% of earth is water. Are we together now? Please understand this. The bones of man were made in the similitude of rocks. That's why they don't, they don't rot and they can last for years. Just like rocks. <laughs> The eyes of man was made in the similitude of water. That's why even witches try to use water to see. There is something they know. I'm not here teaching glorifying Satan, but I'm just showing you what discussing. You, you called me to talk about the realm of the spirit. Listen. Listen carefully. Authority in this kingdom is based on light. Remember. And so God is bringing us to a point of spiritual illumination that by the time you share the grace, you will run home and say, now I found the key. I no longer can fear the fears that brought me here. Then you will know that there are a class of spirits called rulers of darkness. Their dominion starts when ignorance is there. I'm not just giving you some theological gibberish. I'm guiding your understanding so that we can get to a common ground. The creation of man 
why did god take the time to meticulously give details every time god gives details it's not for nothing study it so man was made from the dust of the earth and the spirit was put in man but there was still a problem because the spirit is not compatible with the body so there was no system of coexistence are we together now and he had to devise an interface called the mind that would give man the privilege of the duality of realms understand this now because he had to either be earthly or he had to be of heaven but god wanted both so he had to create something in man that became the connection point so that every man by default had the advantage of interacting with the realm of the spirit and the physical realm are we together so on that ground god could come to man in the cool of the day and man would not be lost are we together now on that ground he could still speak to cain where is your brother and cain could reply him am i my brother's keeper he was hearing so this man that god built is compatible in this realm on legal basis and in the realm of the spirit he also has that compatibility now this construction disturbed satan because he was watching he was already there the bible calls him that old serpent remember old age and so he was watching the the makeup of man that's why the psalmist said when i consider these things what is in man what did you what did you build so every man has the ability born again or not but based on your makeup to interact with the realm of the spirit and to interact with this realm and i will tell you why i will tell you why because god designed this realm the earth to not live without the assistance of the realm of the spirit he created this realm to be so vulnerable that it will ever depend on the realm of the spirit for its function and so if he stops man from interacting with the realm of the spirit that man will not be effective here are you are we together now so for normal function on earth the earth has to depend on the realm of the spirit like a baby depending on the mother for breast milk the mother being the realm of the spirit when satan came to tempt man satan god's goal was that man by eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil now we're not going into that all that theological talk but just believe it to be a tree like you know are we together now by eating of that tree the man was supposed to continue living in that state because the tree is supposed to make you live continuously in that state that was why when man violated god's principles he stopped him because had he eaten of that tree salvation would not be possible again he would have to live in that fallen state forever are we bible students everything i'm saying is in your bible so we have man who has an advantage of the realm of the spirit and the physical realm so it is not unusual for you to go to bed in the night and yet you are in the room and yet you are somewhere else you call it a dream and you've never been afraid of it are we together now it's not unusual if your child comes and says daddy yesterday i i was somewhere and yet that somewhere you are to go there physically in two weeks time and yet this baby was there i hope you know that's not thoughts he was not thinking you were really there so the advantage of the realm of the spirit can take you to the past and the future it can take you to the past to correct what is there it can take you to the future to prepare you while you come this this these are these are systems of advantage that god built in man we are not just studying this just for the sake of it this is where the victory of the saints lie the average believer does not know that this realm is as helpless as it looks 
if the realm of the spirit does not come to assist it are we together so man is created in the image and the likeness of God and then we see man functioning he looks at the animals the Bible says he named them he didn't call lion lion it's science that called lion lion he gave lion its identity that's what it means to name to name does not mean to give it a, no it means describe how it should function it was not God that made it that way it was man taking advantage of the mind of Christ he could tap God didn't need to do it he had access to the mind of Christ and he could reproduce what God would have done if he were there this is what dominion is about so when the Bible says Adam named the animals he didn't just give them physical names to call no God watched a creature he had built now taking advantage of the realm of the spirit to supply intelligence and manifesting it in the physical realm here and now now somewhere along the line that bridge and that advantage was broken and man began to struggle that was the beginning of experiment hoping to work things out in a bit to conjure things that can provide an advantage here on earth so when jesus came he now began to put things in order when he was teaching them what we call the beatitudes he got to a prayer that we know to be the lord's prayer and he said let it be done in earth as it is in heaven he's restoring the order and the pattern that it is always from the realm of the spirit to the physical realm not from the physical realm to the realm of the spirit realities that are fashioned if it ever appears in this realm it is because it exists then the Bible gives us the advantage of studying the book of Job and it tells us that once upon a time the sons of God were before God where in the realm of the spirit again and Satan was there and had a discussion about Job and came to afflict Job Job was quietly minding his business on earth all of a sudden tragedy began to strike why because it was finished in the realm of the spirit a discussion had happened the conclusion was over the earth was merely an instrument of execution are we together now that means the trouble does not just come uh -uh. it is prepared and calculated and your ignorance becomes your approval for it to come because light gives you the power to participate in that decision making process so that what is executed in your life here on earth is something that you participated in hold on let me not rush ahead of myself because this is where you will see the value of the word of god this thing we call the word of god you will know what the word of god does in the realm of the spirit the bible says all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made why is the word of god so powerful So Job is sitting and catastrophe strikes and several other things begin to happen to him and Job summoned God and God began to talk to him and Job got a big secret in chapter 42 he began to interact with the realm of the spirit praying for his friends and things began to change in his life physically to the point that the Bible says the people who left him came back and they didn't just come back they brought money they were always there Brothers and sisters, I don't know how to tell you this, but nothing just happens. Pastor does not just become a great man just by luck. No, you ask him sincerely, he will tell you. There were things and laws that were obeyed from the realm of the spirit. When Do you know the Bible says from the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain. If he was not slain from the foundations of the earth, he would not... There is nothing that can happen in this realm without its manifestation. This realm is only an instrument of execution. What you call creation is only creation from this realm. From the realm of the spirit, it is mere transportation of spiritual realities that are finished. Let me repeat myself. That what you call creation is only a word we invented to help ourselves understand what is happening here. But in the realm of the spirit, there's no such thing as 
creation all things exist including your tomorrow that your tomorrow is already a realm of the, a, a reality but your tomorrow does not yet have the things you need it is now your responsibility to put in it like a movie director editing out the things that do not line up with scripture Let's pray. Let's pray for one minute. Let's pray in the spirit. Lord, open my eyes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please sit down. In John chapter 4 and verse 24, Jesus is having a discussion with a woman by the well. Jesus now, the son of the living God. Don't forget all the things that I've been saying. The word pastor was locked up in the realm of the spirit and a decision came about the salvation of men. But that word could not come to the earth as the word. He will violate the law of territory. So the word had to become flesh. So the, the search was to look for the woman that can now make that word become flesh. Are you seeing that? And when the word became flesh, he could now be born in this realm. So it became legitimate. God is not a man. God became a man. If you say God is a man, every man was created either by birth or original creation. So God is not a man. He only became a man. Hmm. When you say God is a man, who created him? He's the creator himself. God is not a man. He became a man for the sake of men. Are we together now? Yes. So now Jesus is discussing with her. Please give it to us. Let's find somewhere to pray tonight. He says, God is spirit. This is a very powerful information. Already he tells you that this God you so love is spirit. What does that tell you? That means if you want to do any kind of business with God, you have to find a way of capturing this knowledge that God is spirit. That means it will require your spirit being alive to be able to interact with this God. God is spirit and that those who worship him must, not may, if at all you are interested in this God, understand that number one, he is spirit. Number two, if you must worship him, you must worship him in spirit and then in truth. So God is spirit. This is the first information for us to know. God is spirit. God is spirit. The second information I wrote down here is that the realm of the spirit is a real realm with several dimensions the realm of the spirit is a real realm the realm of the spirit is not heaven if you are caught up in the realm of the spirit you think you're in another country that's when you find out that there are beings there are activities that happen it's not a lie this is in the bible we have this idea that once you are not in this realm you are in heaven no once you are not in this realm you are in another dimension of spiritual reality with beings with angels with demons and the law is such that whoever can access the realm of the spirit whether demonically or spiritually already has an advantage over this realm please understand that the mere fact that by whatever means you can access the realm of the spirit already you are at a position of advantage Are we together so the realm of the spirit is dimensional but then the bible says heaven is his throne the heaven of heavens is his throne then the earth has he made his foot too so in interacting with god we have to realize that it is not just randomly the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit activates other dimensions and other possibilities that we cannot comprehend for instance in the realm of the spirit i don't have to talk to you to understand in this realm we are limited by speech and whether visual or non-visual communications 
many of the things that we operate in this realm were a borrowed borrowed attributes from the realm of the spirit and sometimes these demon spirits come to people in the name of science and they they fraternize and get into this is the price of being in babylon that these spirits come and come into a covenant with you oh yes they have fraternized with people to be wealthy read your bible they have fraternized with people to be great so they come up with ideas and insight and concepts you know an average human being should not have this yet they do not give glory to god because that's the condition the spirits come to help you because they know in any case you will find help so before you find god they come as a cheap assistance fraternize with us and we will do something in your life that has not been done in any family fraternize with us and we have a way to walk you around to win an oil and gas contract and when you sit down and look at the i mean look how satan marketed this to jesus jesus he came to jesus just bow to me don't go this route bow to me and i will give you this thing i can make it easy for you that means every man there is a threshold level of growth you cannot rise beyond in the strength of the flesh that if you ever find a man on earth rise beyond that level whether a preacher whether a herbalist whether a businessman whether you are aware or not the realm of the spirit your uncommon result is already a report card that you and a spirit has had a discussion now whether that spirit is of god or not we investigate it but let it be known that on this earth you cannot rise beyond certain dimensions no men are not given that strength once upon a time i spoke with a few people who were minors and they told me that do i know that this gold is a living thing that's what they were telling me the traditional people they said if you annoy it it can move away move away physically on the earth you call it a mineral and it's listening to you and it punishes you by moving away oh may god deliver our generation from ignorance was the oil not hearing the conversation between the prophet and the woman when she was saying there was nothing the oil was listening I'm in your room as an instrument of your breakthrough yet you are calling me nothing and the oil was listening to the conversation too and the prophet said don't be ignorant go and borrow vessels turn that oil and see what it can do what does it mean to grow does it not mean to increase and this is a characteristic of living things you went to school that means while you sit down and begin to speak ill about your destiny believing you are alone you do not know that this wind is a living thing and that the wind was designed to be a messenger it's in your bible that it is a messenger that can take your words and command your destiny to obey what you said Now, it is on the strength of this you will now understand why pastors say, be careful what you say, you know, speak. This is not just some motivation. It's a word of caution that you are programming realities to your detriment or otherwise every day. I'm going ahead of myself already, but I needed us to come to this realization sincerely you won't believe that i've not even started teaching this is just a foundation to help us really understand this whole thing otherwise what i'm going to say will not make sense to us so when jesus walked upon the earth because he was now a man he could interact with the father and then he could interact with this realm are we together now he created a system of relationship to help him interact with his fellow people but then when it was night or evening he would go somewhere and begin to do something that the bible got its name as prayer what is prayer why did jesus pray does god pray why would god pray what is he asking 
well when God becomes a man all men pray Luke 18 and verse 1 he spake a parable to the end that men when you are not a man don't read that scripture it doesn't concern you but for as long as you are a man these are not just scriptures these are guidelines for dominion that because of this advantage listen because you are not just a man there has to be a system of contact with the realm of the spirit where you draw strength light inspiration and that if you focus on this realm alone you are starving another dimension of you and the implication is that the realm of the spirit will superimpose over your life and your destiny sit down So Jesus, there is no record that God prayed in heaven. No, he speaks. He does not pray. But the moment he came to this realm, for him to remain effective, even as God, who had become a man, he needed to go through. That's why the Bible calls him the pattern man. He was showing you how to live in this realm. The day you become a spirit, forget about prayer. But now that you are a man, He's saying that do not ignore what keeps you in touch with the realm of the spirit. The devil attacking your prayer life is not just to get you to backslide. That's, that's too small a motivation for him to disturb you. No. He seeks to disconnect you from anything. Let me tell you this. Satan's obsession is to see that by any means he brings you to a point where your entire focus is on the three-dimensional realm because he knows the moment the consciousness of the realm beyond here is there your victory remains intact thanks be to God the Bible says who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings where in heavenly places but you don't need them there so how do you transport them here Forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled. Where? Not on earth. It's not settled on earth, oh. It's settled only in heaven. You have to find the technology that makes it settled in your life. Now, please listen to me. I'll find somewhere. I promise that we're not going to stay long. So we'll pray. So God created man. There is no instruction for animals to pray. Dogs, cats, no. Your prayer should cover them. What do you think being the head of God's creation implies? That everything under you draws strength from you. Just like you draw strength from the authority higher than you. Why should the animals pray when there are men? It is your prayer that covers them so when you see something wrong with creation it is a report card that you are not in touch with the realm of the spirit the duality of realms i have a body that helps me to execute the decisions that are finished with my spirit the body does not decide the body only executes the body has never been part of any decision. It has always been the spirit. The body is merely an executor. And when this body is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, the spirit can no longer stay. It will leave. That's why God gives you the responsibility of doing something to this, this house. He supplies the wisdom and he says, look, your spirit is at the mercy of the health of this vessel. now seeing then that everything that manifests it is simply a transportation of what is in the realm of the spirit it means pastor that if the saints are to walk in light if the saints are to walk in victory if the reality of the finished work of christ is to be made manifest in the life of the saints then they must understand the spiritual system that has been designed 
to not only create realities but transport those realities and edit them by the spirit and make them manifest here and now so that our lives can now be a true representation of the victory that Jesus Christ died to produce the formula is let it be done in earth not on earth in earth the first earth being you not the ground let it be done in earth Joshua Selman that earth then your territory as it is in heaven is, is, is someone learning something now now listen in one minute I'd like you to just look at everything around your life that you think cannot change or you think is overwhelming you I want you to know that that thing was finished in the realm of the spirit and it was merely transported with your permission now you may not believe that but it is true ignorance is authorization just like faith is why the apostle cried that the word of Christ would dwell in us richly Colossians 3 16 in all wisdom are you getting what I'm saying this is powerful that the realm of the spirit controls the physical realm is a reality I learned the realm of the spirit members don't just come to church no finances doesn't just come to you because you are in need no a job does not just come precious people of Port Harcourt what God said should come to you you will see it in dreams and it will remain in dreams till you go to heaven you have a responsibility this illusion that you cross your legs and hope that good things happen that's a risky bet on your destiny Jesus kept prophesying I will go to the cross but after three days I'm coming if he didn't speak he would be surprised when he would. oh yes don't we're not getting into words yet that will be for tomorrow's service you will see the value of what the Bible calls the logos of God what role does it play in the realm of the spirit why did Jesus have to prophesy his resurrection before he died if he died without prophesying you will learn that when there is no war there is no execution no other person told him I wish you well die and resurrect no if he did not leave that word waiting for him I told you <laughs> so for many of you the prayer and the prophecy of your mother waited for you and while you were 23 24 that prayer caused the angels to lead you to house on the rock you thought you were just coming no you were coming because there was a word hanging words don't die don't you know that Job said, in six things shall he deliver us. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. That a man can use his tongue like a whip and speak to you. The moment Jesus was born, sir, they took him straight to two priests. One Simeon, the prophet, the other was Anna. And the first thing that happened to him was that words were spoken over his life. And after that, they say, you can go and play with your friends. Whatever else they say is too late. The most important thing is that th this programming is complete. So when we dedicate children in church, it's not just a ceremony for religion. We are going ahead of the system to send a word and say, word, wait for his 25 years. Wait for the 30 years and insist that the purposes of God Listen, when I learned the futility of the physical realm outside of the assistance of the spirit and the realm of the spirit, I stopped wasting my time. When David looked at Goliath, he just wanted to find out what backs you. When he found out Goliath was dead since, he said, oh, I'm, I mean, <laughs> because everybody without a spirit is dead. James 2.26 
your business is a body where is the spirit that backs it your job is a body where is the spirit that backs it your church is a body where is the spirit that backs it your marriage is a body where is the spirit that backs it it says a body without a spirit believe me brothers and sisters is dead so you can sit down in your house knowing that you have an advantage of the duality of realms that there is a boss who has insisted that for as long as you name the name of christ i will victimize you fighting physically is an insult to you the advantage of your duality no you can go back home and activate priesthood the privilege of your duality to understand that that man is only a man he has a spirit so the real business is with the spirit don't ever let physical things threaten scare or waste your time doing things physically first and even alone is one of the surest ways of wasting your time you carry a physical certificate and you are going around looking for physical jobs i congratulate you but not in this wicked world but now you can carry that physical certificate attach a spirit to it and send it and now you watch how helpless this realm is now forgive me i don't mean to double into demonic things and all of that but do you know that our parents used to tell us pastor that herbalists will conjure something and will tell you this politician he will favor you and as at the time they are doing it the man is saying over my dead body the physical realm boasting and yet in the realm of the spirit that man has been compelled to bless you after all that talk and that argument by himself that's what happened to pharaoh that he let the egyptians go it was like a charm because when they left he said come what happened pursue them they took our goal that means when the grace for favor is on you from the realm of the spirit it can compel men as though under the influence of a charm it is true if jesus did not have that grace you will be surprised what will happen to him to tell someone lose someone's donkey and bring it for my program and if they ask you say the master has need abba jesus So you find out that negative things are happening around your family every time money comes everybody becomes sick till the money goes down just calling a family meeting is not a way of solving it anymore. you go back at least for tonight i am a spirit body i'm not going to be deceived by what is happening Shatakata, you need to get into that decision room that boardroom in the spirit what is going on over my destiny within that boardroom if you don't plant anything in a farm something will still grow because you are not the only farmer around your farm the bible says while men slept another farmer who was waiting for them to sleep do not believe you are the only farmer over your destiny there is a devil waiting there to put seed so you go to bed and reap a harvest you can't remember sowing no i can't reap what i did not participate in this it's against the law of god i should reap what i sow ah but do you not know that your ignorance is also a farmer it can sow ignorance can sow ephesians 4 and verse 18 having their understanding darkened being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. That ignorance can alienate you. Please hear me. We are going to pray. That it be done in earth as it is in heaven. So God created me. I'm not just an engineer or a doctor. Don't be deceived by the geography of your assignment. Don't be deceived by male or female all those things do not matter in the realm of the spirit 
God separated a man to become male and female simply because he wanted to act out a dimension of his love. I hope you know both male and female are dimensions of God. He separated them to achieve two reasons. One, procreation so that they will fill the earth. But number two, so that they will be the clearest example of the relationship between God and man. So if you don't study women, there is a dimension of God you will never know. No wonder both them and the Holy Ghost are called helpers. I deserve dinner for this good, this good word. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. I didn't come from a region where physically speaking there was any advantage as far as ministry is concerned sincerely but I knew that living my life to chance I would be a frustrated man of God and one day you have to ask me and say he didn't really call you brothers and sisters I came to show you something tonight I know you have been praying but remember, the speaking is only when light comes. When you just speak because you heard someone speak, help that guy under the anointing, please. Your speaking makes no sound in the realm of the spirit until light. Because it is in his light that we see light. And when we now see that light, then we can speak, we can command. I am not just a man I look like a man you see a man but this is only a host the spirit man has exclusive contact with the realm of the spirit where realities are stored this is the warehouse of possibilities and by this agency called prayer the Bible gives us the privilege to select the possibilities we want to see manifest Prayer is many things. Among them, the opportunity that God gives you to go to the warehouse yourself. But who shall ascend, I will say, and then he came down to you. The word of God is his possibilities coming down to you. So that there's no more complaint. I cannot go to heaven to find out what is there. This Bible is a compendium of God's commitments to you. That if you find any truth there, God is committed. The word of God is the boundary of his commitment to the believer. That is not all he can do, but that is all he has defined. He cannot come to you beyond the boundary of scripture. So I find here that I am the head and not the tail. I find here that I am above and not beneath. But I'm the only one reading it. The person looking at me is not reading it and is not even interested. It is left for me to activate the possibilities that compel them to do what the word of God has said. And one of the key for tonight is prayer. That prayer is not just an activity of exerting effort so that you will feel spiritual. Uh-uh. Prayer is not just a way of trying to manage guilt or feeling like you are not being serious with God. The urgency is more than that. That every time you pray, many things happen. One of it is you give an opportunity for the Holy Ghost to search the mind of the Father. And when he searches the minds of the Father, he will open the file where the archives of your destiny is. And because you have now been joined to him, that he that is joined to the spirit is one are we bible people so the holy spirit can come and begin to reveal to you the things that pertain to your destiny you are in need of spiritual power because you need it in ministry and while you pray the holy ghost 
he knows where the power is stored it is in his office and he will draw that power and bring that power on a mortal man you were born of a woman with no capacity for supernatural things but you now engage a mystery that turns you into a sign and a wonder do you know you can change your job change your boss change the outcome in your life the bible says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen so we can look at things unseen they are unseen not unreal unseen for the things that are seen are temporal you went to school temporal means subject to change under a certain condition not every condition rejoice not over me i have found a key that changes my outcomes so while i may look like a weak helpless person with no helper i know how to call them calling them physically is a burden they don't even know they are my helpers so i go to that place where my spirit can make contact with the father and then from that light i declare those who have been apportioned to help my destiny while i'm praying the holy ghost goes around port Harcourt looking for them because he's called the father of spirits every spirit is under his authority listen please hear me do you believe what i'm sharing with you One of the major assignment of angels is for that kind of childishness. Angels begin to work when you are serious about programming your destiny. Their assignment is to make happen. Execute what God said. They execute what you have believed that God said. I came here tonight to do two things. One to open you up to the fact that you are not just a body please find a way of understanding this you are not just a body waiting for situations and circumstances or waiting for a preacher to pray for you there is a place for that but that you are you are shortchanging the advantage of your duality you are not taking advantage of it that god invested this strategy in man so that every time the earth wants to fail you you compel it to obey you can i tell you this the earth has never been disobedient it was only designed to respond to certain sounds there was something noah did and he stood close to his ark and all the animals started coming no one never went to look for them if you know that thing whatever he did you too you can stand and begin <laughs> listen hold on the animals did not come one by one they came two by two so that there will be continuity of that result male and female to ensure that that result reproduces because when it happens only once it is not favor no that's breakthrough the proof that is favor is that it is consistent regardless of the human participators so whether you are in lagos or abuja or potako the outcome should be the same you will think i'm boasting i am not human beings are simply actors the script writer is you So don't tell me it's because I'm staying here. Nobody wants to help me in Port Harcourt because I was not born here. It's the obvious answer, not the right one. When I found this, I knew I found my way. So the advantage of participating 
with the realm of the spirit in prayer can provide me an advantage to remedy what my background see it is based on this that the bible says for we know the rest may not know because they don't know what we are made of but the holy spirit has educated us enough to know for we know that all things work together they may not start together but eventually work together the pain should not be in the equation but since it has now come there is still a way of making it useful in the oh, this is god for you one of the things that makes a chef a chef is the ability to use anything to make sense are we are we together now yes god is like that so what should not have been in the equation if it does come he says no problem it's all right there is still a technology in my wisdom that i can still work it out to make sure that it becomes for your good why because you love the lord and you are the called according to his purposes so tonight we are going to change things in this place in the next five to ten minutes we are going to rewrite things we are going to end circles now listen listen i know you have been praying but now your pastor called for this solemn assembly to open you up to the futility of the flesh and this physical realm outside of the assistance of heaven please hear me everyone who is a worker here hear me your lot is in your understanding not your office your portion is not in your office it's in the realm of the spirit so an attack on your prayer life satan is not interested in your prayer he's only interested in anything that will cut you from participating in the realm of the spirit and since he found out that prayer is one of them he's attacking it satan does not care about your prayer no he only cares about that connection when we pray we are not being religious when we pray we engage angels we engage the holy spirit he begins to search the mind of the father what is supposed to happen in her life between november and december 2020 the holy ghost is searching the mind of the father oh she's supposed to have received the restoration you will think i'm joking until your life begins to testify in strange ways This meeting you are seeing now has been finished long in the realm of the spirit so when I'm praying I'm speaking over you I'm not creating something new no I'm merely transporting a reality that has been well discussed with God that this is how you are going to invade these people's lives and turn their lives around that's why he brought you from wherever you were It's proof that a discussion was happening in the spirit listen when you understand this go back this night wake up in the night put your office files on the floor shalaska makapranda gabato seketeba ekros kebarush kabaranta i speak favor in the name of jesus i am bula hefziba the delight of the lord when you are done on monday morning dress well pick your file go to the office already angels are there because you sent them already the holy ghost is there find a way of believing what i'm saying tonight listen 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 when you go back home and everybody is lamenting don't feel bad but don't join them again you came for a conference that has educated you listen things are not going well in this family the pandemic has made things bad and suddenly you remember the message and you say please excuse me for the next two hours and you step into your inner chambers 
and say i am not just a mere human being there is the duality of my being the advantage of priesthood you begin to mention your loved ones by name i speak favor in the name of jesus i command open doors they are loving jesus and while you are making these declarations hear me how it will happen the dynamics is none of your business leave it to the artistry and the wisdom of the spirit hear me when you pray favor upon your life don't pray and say god use my uncle that's 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 fake prayer there are 7.2 billion actors for this movie don't limit the producer's capacity leave him to decide time for things to change in my life it's time for things to change in my family listen 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 help that lady I command that spirit to leave now a time will come listen ah I wish I had time listen a time will come when you are so into your priesthood your words and your thoughts begin to pray so even when your words are silent your thoughts keep praying the Bible says God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think so your thinking is also a prayer warrior you can get to a point where even when you are done praying physically the prayer still continues so before you even say it your thought has already placed it as a request hallelujah that you get to a point in your life where if in 24 hours no one favors you you'll go on a retreat because you ask a question what happened to the harvest from the seeds I've sown. Hallelujah. Please give me five minutes and we're done with today's service. We're going to be praying and while we're praying, two things will happen here. Number one, that if at all any chain followed you here, except God is not God, here at House on the Rock, Portacot, that as you pray those chains, must fall that tomorrow by tomorrow morning you will not even be able to testify you will stand here and wonder the god that doeth wonders is someone ready to pray lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit come on house on the rock Through faith, we understand that the worlds were made, framed by the word of God. Pray. You are commanding power in the realm of the spirit. Program realities over your destiny. Program realities over your life. Skele parusa de pashka baranta skadia. Our eyes shine for your light is come. Even the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Outside, make sure you are praying at the overflows. Those online, make sure you are praying. Determine the outcome of your destiny. You are a priest unto God.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Listen. Please listen to me. Listen. Let me teach you something we are praying. Complaining and blaming things is one of the ways we transfer responsibility and our authority in the realm of the spirit. When God came to Adam, pastor, he said, Adam, where art thou? He said, I heard your voice and I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you you were naked? God never spoke to the woman until God, Adam, gave him permission. He said, the woman. And God didn't talk to him again. He went to the woman. Woman, what is this that you have done? The serpent, she transferred authority. The serpent kept quiet. That's why he became the Lord of the cosmos. That's why when Jesus also became sin, when they called him, he kept quiet. Because had he spoken, he would transfer authority. The serpent, Satan, became the God of this world by this simple mystery of using words. I gave you dominion and now you say it is the woman. Now I leave you and I go to the woman. What happened? If the woman kept quiet, she would have become head over man immediately. But the woman said, the serpent. And the serpent did not blame anybody. So he became the God of this world until Jesus came. His silence was a mystery of restoring dominion. And now that he's victorious, let the redeemed of the Lord, let the healed of the Lord, let the lifted of the Lord, let the anointed of the Lord, can you lift your voice and begin to say so? Say so. Say so. Kabarato shalata. Say so. Say so over your health. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the lifted of the Lord say so. Let the powerful of the Lord say so. Shabranda kaparus kaparita shalata sikata Empreketos kaparito shaziata hasa Hallelujah 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 Praise the name of the Lord Now listen One of the advantages Of prayer is dominion over time real dominion is not dominion over things it is dominion over time whoever exerts dominion over time is a priest indeed are we together yes the one thing we all have is time and when the devil wants to destroy your destiny because it is a function of time it will cause your time to just be wasted or delayed the disciples had gone six hours ahead of jesus and jesus stayed back knowing he was already delayed he began to pray and the moment he was praying when he was done he got up and started walking on water within a few moments he had caught up with them in the next one minute someone is going to be accelerating in the spirit as you pray lift your voice in one minute and declare that you gain time Time has been lost through ignorance. Time has been lost through mistakes. Time has been lost through wrong associations. But Lord, I place a demand. Is someone praying? Over time. Skabarato shalata. I misused January. I misused February. I misused March. I misused April. I misused May. I misused June, July, August. September, October, but Lord, I declare, put eight months in two months, eight months in two months, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Now, I know that 
I plead with pastor to just say this I want to encourage you whatever you will do to be here tomorrow there is a prayer and there are impartations that I want to release upon your life tomorrow make that sacrifice bring your loved ones this is not just a house on the rock meeting this is only part a quite honestly I, I didn't even start talking about what I wanted to talk about I will be teaching you the laws of the spirit realm that when you possess these realities you will play life like a chess it is true let me pray for you tonight in the name of Jesus standing in agreement with the grace upon your pastor I speak over your life that which has remained in your life as a challenge tonight in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I declare that it lives your life now and forever help those under the anointing there every door that has refused to open please hear me in the name of Jesus I speak to that door a father be open be open be open my God please help them be open hear me whatever should have entered your hand and by whatever means has refused to come in the name that is above all names I compel them into your hands now tonight in the name of Jesus a supernatural quickening upon your mind receive that grace in the name of Jesus that as you sleep tonight we activate visions and dreams revealing the matters of destiny in the name of Jesus Christ and can I speak over someone's life that before the Sun rises tomorrow you would have returned with a fearful testimony I say this from the depth of my spirit every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it the Bible says as they went the leper found out he had been cleansed as you go tonight I speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ and by the ministry of angels strange testimonies strange encounters for some of you your prayer life that is dead or dying tonight fresh fire upon your prayer altar hallelujah praise the Lord so please by the grace of God pay whatever price you will pay to be here tomorrow and receive that grace for the sake of your life for the sake of your destiny for the sake of your loved ones pastor thank you thank you for your love